face of the Chiefs, Mitch Hawkins. Good evening, everybody. And small but mighty and boisterous here tonight at Zeppi's Pizza at K10 in Ridgeview. And a good evening, everybody, as we open the doors to the Chiefs' kingdom for the final time for the 2010 season on this early January 2011. And I'll be honest, you know I've got rules for the kingdom. No sniveling, no pouting. You always look ahead. But tonight we will uh, look at yet back at yesterday. This is not the show that I envisioned for this night because in my preparation all throughout last week in getting ready for the Baltimore Ravens, I had the vision in my mind of this place bursting at the seams, of course, and opening the book of sealed signatures, which will be open when the Chiefs win a postseason game. We're going to open that dang book one of these days. I'm just going to tell you that right now. And I look forward to the day. It'll be guys like Ryan Lilja helping us do it, who is here tonight, who's brave the snow, and his gorgeous lady is here tonight as well. We'll talk to Ryan later on in the show, but I did envision a night where we would have opened that book. But it's another night for us to rally and to move on. A shout out to the people all year long. I'm not gonna make this a close at the beginning, but I do wanna give because we get rushed at the, at the end many times. And thanks first of all to all the stations that are part of the show. This show goes out over 60 stations in six states. But there's a lot of folks that couldn't make it tonight. We've had six inches of snow, we're expecting more. And, uh, but the people have been great. I really thought Snowstorm Sandy would be here. It's a snowstorm, but she sent me a Facebook message and said she wouldn't be here tonight. She lives in the Northland. We got people that drive all the way from Savannah, Missouri every week for this show. It was just too tough uh, for them to make it tonight. But a shout out to the Lake Lottawana Lake Rats, the Kingdom Cruisers, uh, Susie Bling Bling and the Taj Mahal Tailgaters and the Savage. I'm sorry we didn't get that check marked off. One check left on that sheet that he had. Uh, the Red Coders have been great all year. Mentioned Snowstorm Sandy, the Queen of the Kingdom. But we got folks here tonight. Yellow Froman is here tonight. I see a Yellow Froman. And Betsy the Brain is here tonight as well. Buckeye Head is here tonight. Uh, the Ohio State Buckeye uh, is here tonight as well. The Red Hots are here. The Red Hots are here. Jeff, the artist, is here tonight as well. But a lot of people can't be here. And I, if I start mentioning the folks that have been here every show all year long, I'm going to leave somebody out. But you know I care about you. There are also people who have been a part of the show all year that make it happen. And the show's become somewhat legendary, of course, because of its... It's uh, traditions, it's legendary in the locker room, the guys talk about it all the time, because we'll wait for one more year, but when we get that year back and we come into 2011, we will put the hammer down. And I'm gonna have a man on the second part of this show who I admire as much as anybody in that locker room. And we're gonna talk about that later on in the show, and he is indeed a professional who puts the hammer down. But there are guys that have made this show happen, Dan Israel, who is with Coach Haley every week uh, to set up things in his office. And we're gonna hear from Coach here in a little bit, but Dan is the executive producer of the Chiefs Fox Football Radio Network, and he's a brilliant, brilliant dude. He's just incredible. Uh, Eric Townsend at the network control room, NASA control room uh, there at Metcalf and, um, and Johnson Drive. Uh, Brad Coopander and Pete Morris in the PR department who have to work logistically and help me with the guys in the locker room and making sure everything's hooked up. Uh, also, we're going to talk about Leader Limo, but uh, Bruce Heinrich and his wife Tanya, they're just awesome. They're, they're heroes. And quite honestly, and, and, and it's just something we can do for the guys to make it easy for them because these guys work so hard, so, so hard. Zero is here. Zero walks in with six inches of snow, and Zero is here. Not negative one, not one, but zero. And Zero being here actually is huge. So Zero walks into the show with uh, six to eight inches of snow. Mendelin from Sports Radio 810, our flagship station, uh, during the week on the Chiefs Fox Football Radio Network has worked so uh, very hard on uh, logistics. But the folks here, uh, Sassy Cassie couldn't be here because of the snow. She snowed in in the Northland too. But the Drake is here. The Drake has been here day one for four months making sure this thing's happened. And Shane Summers, the pride of lacrosse, the lacrosse leopard, has done the same. And I can't thank these people enough. It takes a lot to put this show on. It honestly does. A lot of logistical challenges. But it is a thrill and a blessing for me to be able to do this show. 
Someday when I write the book, you will hear the whole story about this show. Why it happened, how it happened, it was kind of happen chance when it started about five years ago. But the show has become for the fans. The fans, the passion of the fans. Game, set, match. And there will come a day where we're gonna build on this 10 and six season and we will move on. But the thrill for me every week is to see the fans and to see we have fun. People, people criticize, they say it gets a little goofy. Hey, forget about it. It's gonna be goofy, all right? And we're gonna have some fun with this show. We will have, we'll talk football, but we're also gonna make it about the fans and try to make it fun because people love this team and the team loves its fans and we're gonna try to generate that throughout the entire Chiefs kingdom. The show goes on and we will build for 2011 because we will talk tonight too about a lot of the accomplishments of this team. People forget about where this team started and how much progress and movement it made because basically this team played elimination playoff football from Thanksgiving weekend on. Don't you remember when we went to Seattle, they go, nope, they'll lose that game, the Chargers will take them over. They marched on. Week by week by week, all the national pundits said they'll fade, Chargers will win the division. The Chargers didn't win the division. The Chiefs did. And it's just a start. It is just a start. We will not be dismayed, we will march on. When I come back, we will have head coach, and later in the show, we will have a phenomenal young man who returned home to be a part of our football team. But before we have Ryan Mills get later in the show, let's take a break and I'll have Todd Haley on with me after this on the Chiefs Fox Football Radio Network, baby.